Hi, welcome back to another episode of DTF Garage. My name is Brad. In this episode, we are going to be installing Bronco Sport gauges on my 2022 Ford Maverick. We're gonna do it a little bit differently this time, so stay tuned. Now, as you may recall in one of my previous videos, we stuck this Bronco Sport instrument cluster inside my 2020 Escape. The biggest thing with that was that we were going from a base instrument cluster on the Escape to the mid-series instrument cluster. The high series is a full 12 inch LED screen uh, that doesn't actually have a physical gauge. So these are considered the mid gauges. They've got the, uh, I think this is a seven inch screen in the middle here with uh, physical gauges for the speedometer and tachometer. That one was pretty straightforward and that one was pretty easy as well. The cluster that I originally bought had 1,000 miles on it from the Bronco Sport. That poor thing didn't even get to its first oil change before it got wrecked. The Escape I put it into had 22,000 miles on it. And when you go in with foreskin, you can adjust the mileage, but you can only go up. You can never bring it back down. So now that this has been in my Escape and was in that car for 8,000 miles, it has 30,000 miles on it. Also, my Maverick already has the mid-series cluster with the seven inch screen in the middle. But I really, really like the blue of these gauges. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And I like them way more than the ones that the Maverick comes with. So what we're gonna be doing on this swap, instead of swapping out the entire instrument cluster, because my Maverick has 230 miles on it, this has 30,000 miles on it, we're gonna be swapping the faceplate with the gauges and needles onto the back with the computer and the seven inch screen of the Maverick. So we're basically combining two gauges into one. I'm excited to see it too. This instrument cluster is way easier to remove than the one in the Escape. In the Escape, I had to take out half the dash, the audio display module, just to get to the gauges. On this, it's super easy. Uh, I have these two bolts on the bottom here that take a seven millimeter. There's that little guy. And the other one is on this side here. Use my little twisty turvy tool. It makes it super easy to get to these bolts. So once those are out, you can go ahead and pop this bottom trim off here from the gauge bezel. You could have done that earlier too, it doesn't really matter. And then you just grab this and pull. It is just held in by clips. This side here uh, turned out to be kind of a jerk when I was trying to pull it off, so I ended up uh, breaking that clip off the side here, but there are still eight clips that hold that on, so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. So now that that's off, you've just got two more bolts up at the top here. And once those are out, you can just pull out the gauges. <sighs> Unclip the back and you're all ready to go. So I actually think this is gonna be quite a bit easier than I originally thought. Uh, it looks like when Ford put these together, they actually just used regular Phillips screws, which is really surprising. Most other instrument clusters that I've dealt with from Ford, I have a uh, like a security 
Torx bit on there that requires, uh, you know, just more than your standard tools. Um, but uh, yeah, this just uses the uh, a bunch of Phillips head screws to hold it all together. So this should be really easy to uh, take apart, and uh, hopefully I just don't break anything in the process. So the ones with the washers go in these four holes. Looks like the other ones don't have washers, and those all go on the outside. And there are tabs on the outside, looks like one, two, and then there's two tabs going the opposite direction, so I'll have to undo those as well. Two on the sides here, and then looks like two on the bottom. And you just gotta work at it little by little. Okay, so there's the back piece, not too bad there. So now we've got it uh, pretty much all disassembled here. So we've got the uh, front gauge, front gauges, the clear screen is off and we've got the motherboard on the back here. This is uncharted territory for me here. So I'm really hoping I don't break anything. So as I'm pulling on the back here, I can see the needles moving. So obviously the needles are attached through here to the back. Um, of the instrument cluster. So for me to get that out, I'm gonna have to take the needles out and then I think I can pop these fronts off. Oh, there we go. Oh, those are interesting. I've uh, never seen needles that look like that before. I'm usually an avid collector of uh, different style needle needles for gauge swapping, but I guess I won't be doing these because I have not seen anything like that before. Okay, there we go. There's the second one. Oh, see, so yeah, okay, so there it goes. So that is the Bronco Sport instrument cluster face with the LED screen behind it. Now I'm going to grab the Maverick gauges, separate the front from the motherboard just like this again and hopefully everything will work fine so i've got all my bronco sport stuff moved over here so i don't get it mixed up and we're going to go ahead and uh, disassemble the maverick instrument cluster uh, now the first thing i did check was that all of the uh, idiot lights in this in the middle are all the same and in the same position if they weren't this is not going to work but luckily on both of these gauges which i'm not surprised uh, but they are all in the same position. So all those lights are gonna light up correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this one now. are off these ones light up blue so I think I'm gonna reuse those with the Maverick 
uh, gauge faces. I think the blue on blue might look nice. Okay. So this is the Maverick motherboard here. And then I'm gonna move these here. Line this back up with the Maverick motherboard. Now, when putting these needles back on internally, they have a stop, which will stop it at zero. Not all speedometers do that, especially the older ones, but these do. So you want to kind of push it halfway in and then push it down and pull it about to where it stops on the bottom here. Uh, that way you know you've got it set correctly at zero and your speedometer and tachometer aren't going to be off you know, 10 miles an hour or, you know, 2,500 RPM or anything like that. Just about halfway in. Let's see, and now as you see, if I try to turn it a little bit, it's stuck at about that 500. So I'm gonna turn it until we hit that zero. And then push it in the rest of the way. So now it's sitting at zero. This one's sitting at zero. And you want to check and make sure you didn't push them down too far as well. You want to make sure that they move freely, that there's not anything that's going to be stopping these needles from moving. So now we've got the Bronco Sport face on the Maverick instrument panel. And these are the two gauge faces side by side. The top one is the Maverick, the bottom one is the Maverick Sport. Uh, so like I said, they're very similar, but I really like the way the Bronco Sports look better. I like the blue, I like the font choice better on the, uh, on the Bronco Sport. Uh, when I went to college, I went in for uh, graphic design, so fonts uh, <laughs> really mean a lot to me. So most people probably don't care about the font. I, I do, I, I think the uh, font on the Bronco Sport gauges looks better. So now we're gonna go ahead and just uh, reassemble this. definitely don't want to over tighten these bolts as long as these screws are just nice and snug in there should be fine you really don't need to make them that tight And we're all done. We've got the Bronco Sport gauge overlays on top of the Maverick instrument cluster. So all my Maverick stuff is still gonna show in the middle, but I've got some pretty sweet gauges on my Maverick now. All right, that's pretty much all there is to uh, doing that gauge face swap. I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot harder to do, but really wasn't that bad. That was actually uh, probably one of the easiest things I've done on this vehicle or any of my vehicles, honestly. Uh, so Bronco Sport uh, gauge face swap onto the Maverick instrument cluster, pretty cool. I think it looks pretty sweet. I took, a, took the vehicle around for a uh, test spin, everything worked fine. So luckily I didn't break anything in the process, which knowing me is usually the case. So we're <laughs> good there. Thanks for checking out my videos, guys. As always, I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check us out on DTFGarage.com, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at DTF Garage for uh, other content and more videos. Uh, and uh, of course, dtfgarage.com for stickers and swag. Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay boosted. All right, now, as you may recall in one of my previous videos, previous videos, I'm gonna put it here, previous videos. <laughs>